Okay, obviously there's a cover on this machine now and you haven't seen that before. Normally we would show this in the introductory video. Uh, we quite honestly got busy and forgot to put it on so you're seeing it now uh, as we're getting ready to do another leather sew off. What I have in front of me right here is obviously um, the single layer of genuine cowhide that you probably have already seen in that uh, cowhide leather sew off. Uh, I'm going to set this to the side and also remove this cover again. The cover is a real nice uh, bonus I think uh, so that you, you have the flexibility to transport this machine to quilting classes, to transport the sewing classes, or to simply have that dome cover on there uh, to protect the machine uh, when it's not in use, especially if you have kids around or pets or whatever. So uh, we just wanted to show that real quick. What we're going to do now is another leather sew off. Uh, this is obviously uh, two times the thickness of the original one. Here's the original one on, the, uh, on my left. Uh, we're basically doubling the stakes with these two layers. And uh, why don't I go ahead and uh, slide this underneath the presser foot. I'll probably use that hyperextension. Also, I have to turn my light on. And we'll see what this uh, amazing domestic 153MG is able to do with this much leather underneath that presser foot. All right, you ready? All right, here we go. I had a slow start, but once, once I got my act together and my foot fully on the uh, foot control, Things went pretty well, although with that little slip of my foot, I didn't do too good of a job in sewing straight, did I? All right, well, there's our top stitch. We'll call it kind of a curved top stitch. But you can see with your own eyes, through that much leather, look at how gorgeous that top stitch, in fact, is. Let me rotate it forward again so you can see with your own eyes. That is two very thick pieces of genuine cowhide leather. So I turn it around, again, other than a little bit of a curve to it, that's also a gorgeous lock-in stitch as well. And again, we're talking about not a garment leather, we're not talking about a soft leather, we're talking about the thick of thick when it comes to genuine cowhide. And yet, this domestic 153 MG with that .95 amp direct drive motor, it just goes to business and gets the job done.